So we're going to talk about uh, the different types of looping yo-yos. Um, there's a couple different companies out there that make different types of looping yo-yos. When you look at them, uh, there's different things you'll notice. Um, some are a little bit heavy, um, some are a little bit light, so there's different weights. Um, basically, for the most part, they use the same shape. I've got two different companies here. Um, you'll notice they're actually pretty close to the same shape. One has a little bit different of a gap to it. Um, different caps kind of bubble out a little bit more on one than the other, but they're pretty close to the same thing. If you could actually hold them right now, you'd actually feel this one's just a little bit heavier in my hand. Um, when you play with them, you actually just end up kind of getting a feel for which one's better for you. Um, when you open them up inside, this one has a ball bearing to it, um, which is important for learning some of the more advanced looping tricks, because as it's spinning, the string is, is shooting around this and there's no friction. Um, this one, in this case, they make this one with a bearing. Um, the one I currently have just has a fixed plastic axle in here um, that will shoot around. It's a transaxle, so it shoots around the gap like that. Um, but that's what helps control this one and keep this one spinning at the end when you throw something like in Around the World. Um, when it comes down to it, they're all pretty close. Um, they'll all do a lot of the same stuff. A lot of the pros um, actually end up having to almost break their yo-yo. They, they take one of these specific yo-yos and they'll actually over tighten the gap. Um, they'll use bearings as well as plastic spacers. So there's these little plastic parts that will go on either side of the bearing to grab it, um, which makes the yo-yo a little more grabby and really helps you control your loops and keep them going. Um, so, there's lots of different kinds. Uh, I suggest you kind of go out, look what you can find, and try them out, see what works best for you. Um, I found that a bearing with O-rings is what's best for me, but lots of people use lots of different things. So.